It's a paradise for fans of two-wheeled travel. There are 250 exhibition stands, more than ever before, each one with something new to show visitors. Velo Berlin is a barometer for cycling trends. There's the whole topic of electromobility, and there are new suppliers, they're small companies. Their work is oriented towards custom-built bikes. The industry's become much more diverse, bikes that can be used to transport heavier loads are big too, and there's plenty of new models that weren't around five years ago. More than 20 million bicycles are sold annually in Europe, and the number continues to grow. Above all, in big cities, people have rediscovered the bicycle as an efficient, individualized means of transport. Style is just as important as speed. A creative industry has developed around cycling. There are blogs, photo books, and magazines which all celebrate cycling as part of a new, sophisticated urban way of life. The latest publication to hit the magazine stands is Cycle. Editor-in-chief Wolfgang Scherreichs has a whole new group of target readers. Our focus is on bikes as a lifestyle, not sporting object. Our target group is therefore people who enjoy cycling through the city, regardless of their own particular style. Whatever the options are in the city, people who are interested in fashion. At the dawn of the 20th century, cycling enjoyed a boom in Germany and Europe. City dwellers, in particular, appreciated this low-cost and liberating means of transportation. In the second half of the century, bicycles were rarer as car ownership rapidly increased. Manufacturers changed with the times, gearing their attention to the younger generation with so-called chopper bikes and then BMXs, both of which were hugely popular. Couriers reclaimed the roads for street bikes in the late 1990s, breaking ground for a new urban cycling culture. Nowadays, you can use your bike as a means of transport to go shopping or to boast a little bit or to just dawdle along. Everything is allowed nowadays. What it definitely isn't anymore is a poor man's car. Bikes are now a lifestyle accessory. No place better demonstrates the cult of the bike than the Standard Café in Berlin. It unites a repair shop, café and store under one roof and is a watering hole for cyclists from all over the world. Every time I go traveling and I always travel with my bike, it's just to just go, go, okay, coffee place, bikes, and usually these places make me meet a lot of very nice people. I can buy parts here, meet my friends here, or just have a cup of coffee. It's the perfect combination. In Madrid, we also have these kind of places. We have La Bicicleta Cycling Café, and it's a good place to meet people from, came from design, photographers, artists, and also people who love bikes. Cycling enthusiast Max von Sanger founded the cafe back in 2012, modeling it on one he'd seen in London. He and his team organized lots of meetings and day trips. A great thing has happened over the years, something I'd really hoped for. A community is formed and a lot of friendships have sprung up. There are many people who come to the city and here they have a place to go. A place where they can just be a bike nerd and talk to others just like themselves. Back to Velo Berlin. The number of people attending the event shows that bikes are now once again mainstream. Not only athletes and students are here, some participants arrive in suits. I think that the next step is to improve the infrastructure for bikes in the city. Cyclists need more space, and to avoid a classic conflict, pedestrians do as well. That means the space has to be redistributed, and doing that will be a lot of work. Velo Berlin shows how the future could look. It could be the start of a revolution in mobility, on two wheels or sometimes even three.